So in today's modern society, ladies and gentlemen, it's truly a great place. It really is. As we all know, a load of things seem to get glorified and glamorized when they really shouldn't. And a lot of these things where people tell others, yeah, it's great for you. Now, actually, your life gets better when you choose this life path have negative consequences. And in today's video, I'm going to be talking about the movement that tells others there is nothing wrong with being unhealthy. There's nothing wrong with being overweight. Embrace it. It's all okay because an article has been created where full social media influencers who got caught up in this movement and obviously promoted it have all died, passed away before the age of 45, with most of them obviously fallen victim to this way of life. And yet the mainstream media, social media, the powers that be will continue to push this lifestyle onto people. So it affects billions across the world in the past. And they will certainly tell people again in the future, you know, exercise is bad for you. It's okay to be fat. Companies like Dove push campaigns such as fat liberation. And why? Well, I'll leave that one up to you guys in the comment section below. But before we carry on with this video, also, if you could make sure to leave a like rating as it really, really helps out the video. If you're new, hit that subscribe button and turn on bell notifications so you never miss a video, share this video, and let's discuss this movement known as fat liberation and body positivity and the effects it has on people, which by the way, nobody could have seen coming. A Daily Mail report, these four social media influencers were swept up by a movement that claims obesity is perfectly healthy. The tragic truth is they have all died under the age of 45. The first influencer this article discusses is Brittany Sauer, I hope I got that name right, a social media star who was 31 stone, who often posted about body positivity, but admitted that she had ruined her life with food and binge eating, and it had left her aged just 28 full of regret. Brittany had been a virtual prisoner in her own home for two years, dealing with type 2 diabetes and repeated bouts of the skin infection cellulitis, which had caused a growth in her pelvis weighing more than two stone. She had even been forced to ask someone else to cut her toenails as it left her too breathless. Yet she hoped desperately that it wasn't too late to save herself. I'm scared. I'm going to end up in a bad place that my body can't recover from, she said to her half a million TikTok followers. I want you to know it's not worth it. Food isn't worth your life. I ruined my life with food, um, binge eating, and lack of self-care um and i'm hoping that it's not too late for me this time um you know i ain't been to the store in two years maybe more now i guess um i went to the post office once and that was hard i went to urgent care and i thought my legs were gonna give out from under me um because i had to stand there the entire time after walking in you know, I kept just looking back at the chair and just praying that I could just make it another second. There's just a lot that is taken away from me and I want you to know that it's not worth it. Food's not worth your life. And uh, I really hope that I can turn it around this time because it's, it's really scary how bad things can get. So that is actually quite a sad ending for somebody who had been caught up in this body positivity movement that sells lies not only obviously to her but everybody that just being unhealthy overweight eating as much as you want well don't worry about it you know who cares because at the end of the day you do you and it's beautiful and nobody can question that right because it goes against our movement it's fat phobic etc etc and she realized all of this when it was too late and all of her health issues, the situation she got herself involved in, could have been avoided if society instead pushed heavily the message of living a healthy lifestyle and eating well, exercising, but instead it chooses to push the message that reaffirms this lifestyle and we see it being glorified and glamorized more than ever. For example, magazines like Cosmopolitan have told people that this is healthy and these are the front covers of their magazines, which then tells people that, yeah, you know what, this healthy lifestyle idea, you know what, I don't need it because clearly you can get recognized for being unhealthy, overweight, and it's beautiful, apparently, according to these people. Social media will condemn you if you call it out. Again, you'll be labeled as fat phobic. How dare you body shame someone? However, people are getting sick. They're developing health issues. And obviously they're passing away, yet you can't call that out. You can't say it for what it is. You can't tell people maybe they shouldn't be doing this to their bodies. It's interesting. 
isn't it? Now, moving on to this next TikToker who highlights that just eating as much as you want is okay, it's cool because, well, social media gives me that validation and again, it is reaffirmed. Another TikTok star, Waffler69, died of a presumed heart attack, according to his brother, aged just 33 in January. Real name, Taylor Lejeune, I hope I got that name right. He did not flaunt his weight, but amassed 1.9 million followers by posting videos reviewing bizarre food, including reindeer meat and tinned ham from the 1960s. His last video posted the day before he died showed him eating a giant Fruit Loop in milk. And when you take a look at some of these videos and you see what this man is eating, essentially all for social media clicks on TikTok because, well, that's great, that's funny, who cares what people do? Of course, over time, this is going to destroy your body. The food that is put out by these fast food companies who want you to eat large amounts isn't there to make you or your body feel good about yourself and will lead to terrible health issues. As this article states, the impact of ultra-processed food on your health. Numerous studies have linked the consumption of UPFs to adverse health outcomes. The French Nutrinet Santé study with over 100,000 participants participants revealed that a 10% increase in UPS consumption was associated with a 12% higher likelihood of developing some sort of cancer and an 11% higher risk of breast cancer. Meanwhile, three large US cohort studies confirmed the link between UPS and colorectal cancer. A UK biobank cohort study with over 60,000 participants proved that UPS increased the incidence of heart disease as well as death caused by heart disease. Another study published in the American Journal of Clinical Nutrition in 2023 found that the higher UPS intake was linked to an increased risk of overall mortality. All this is due to the unnatural, highly modified nature of UPFs. And again, when you take a look at these videos, and this is a lot more than the average person should even be eating, of course, negative things are going to happen and you may end up passing away. And what do we see everywhere? Well, fast food, restaurants, this way of lifestyle is just normalized and you can eat as much as you want. And people love to see others watching people eat loads and loads of food, you know, to serve their dopamine hits. And obviously the person eating is getting a huge dopamine hit as well. But to call that out and say, hey, look, you know, maybe not eating this large amount of food is good for you and you should look after your health and the TikTok fame isn't worth it. Well, that breaks the laws of the body positivity movement and the fat liberation movement, because I can guarantee you people would see that and say, well, that's just wrong. You can't say that. How dare you? They're just living their lives. This is okay. I eat the same amount. It's crazy. They see nothing wrong with somebody clearly destroying their lives. Maybe that's due to the lies that have been sold. And it also gives them an excuse to do the same. You know, when they see somebody else living their lifestyle and making it glamorous, you know, they glorify it, they don't feel so bad, which is why I think a load of people do get defensive when you call this out because you're essentially calling out the way that they live their lives. And they don't want to have to deal with the harsh realities of their actions and the consequences they will face. So it's easier just to pretend that everything is okay. Oh wait, exercising is bad for you? Oh yeah, I believe that one. I don't have to work out then. Eating all this food is good for you? Oh, that's good as well. That means I don't have to change my lifestyle. But now we move on to how the entertainment industry exploits and promotes this lifestyle. Also, Jamie Lopez, who starred in a US reality TV show, Super Size Salon, died from heart complications aged 37 last December. The show centered around obese women getting beauty treatments and featured the catchphrase, go big or go home. She had described being discriminated against for being a plus size makeup artist and wanted women like her to feel confident and sexy. But then Jamie decided to overhaul her health, eventually losing 29 stone half of her body weight before her death. So a US reality TV show, and I think that just shows people, you know, reality TV shows need to be gone anyway, but a show was created again to exploit and glorify and glamorize this issue. They wanted to make women who were clearly unhealthy, overweight, feel good about themselves, which I guess is kind on the surface, but instead of making these women feel good about themselves for what, less than 24 hours, how about encourage them to actually feel good about themselves in the long term by promoting a healthy lifestyle? This show served no other purpose than to tell people, yeah, you know what? You can feel sexy being this way. Don't worry about the health issues that may come because, well, if you do your hair a little bit, get a little bit of makeup, well, then it's fine. When an overweight woman, again, in this case, sees a show like this, only one message is sent out to them. It literally serves no other purpose. There is no benefit from making a show like this, apart from telling people, well, this is beautiful, and you too can be beautiful, even if 
you're unhealthy, overweight. And lastly, a well-known activist, professor of fat studies, Dr. Kat Pauze, who questioned the links between weight and health, lost her life age 42. Based at Massey University in New Zealand, she also presented a fat positive radio show. She's been noted for saying that the science isn't quite as clear cut as we'd like to believe, and there's not really quite a consensus yet about the relationship between weight and health. Obese people, and even morbidly obese people, have just as good health or better health than someone in the normal weight range. She died in March 2020. 22 from causes which have not been made public. So this one could be for many reasons, which is why I said at the beginning of this video, most of the people we're going to be talking about have fallen victim to this movement, this fat liberation movement, and have passed away because of it. But one could argue if they did live a healthier lifestyle, would they have passed away from whatever situation they were in? Who knows, but they did promote it nonetheless. And the messages they put out, I think, and I think I'm right to say this, were harmful. You know, they're a professor in fat studies, that's something I didn't even know was a thing, but they were telling people, and were noted for telling people, that being morbidly obese, or obese, is just as healthy, and can be just as healthy, as the person who is a normal weight. That in itself is ridiculous, because 9 out of 10 times, if you take a group of morbidly obese people, and a group of normal weight people, who is more likely to suffer from health consequences, who is living an unhealthier lifestyle. And let's just take a look at some of the risks that come with being morbidly obese. You can suffer from type 2 diabetes, high blood pressure, heart disease, stroke, metabolic syndrome, fatty liver diseases, some cancers, breathing problems, osteoarthritis, gout, diseases of the gallbladder and pancreas, kidney disease, pregnancy problems, fertility problems, sexual function problems, mental health problems. That doesn't seem healthy to me. Anyway, that last one I want to touch on, mental health. Because apparently we live in this society, right, where having a good mental health is very important. Many people care about it. Well, I'll tell you now, that's just bullshit, isn't it? Because if it was the case, we would not be pushing this onto everybody. We would not be glorifying and glamorizing it. We would not be telling people that eating all of this terrible food is good for you. Think about everything that is inside those foods. It affects your mental health. Being overweight itself affects your mental health. You don't feel good about yourself. You hate yourself. It causes depression, anxiety, social anxiety, all of those things. And yet we promote it. This is what we tell people is okay. It's fine. And do you know what's interesting? The liberals who push this agenda, because it's mostly them and they go hand in hand with the mainstream media, the powers that be, they don't speak about these incidents. They won't even recognize them. And why is that? Because it just points out how dangerous their movement is, which, by the way, again, as of 2021, was taking the lives of 2.8 billion people. But don't listen to me, guys. Don't listen to me, because I'm the one that's in the wrong here. I, I, I do actually apologise, because, you know, professors in fat studies tell people that being obese or morbidly obese doesn't really matter because you are just as healthy or can be just as healthy as a normal person. So what do I know? But leave your thoughts down below on this issue. Ladies and gentlemen, if you have enjoyed today also, make sure to leave a like rating. If you're new, hit that subscribe button and turn on bell notifications so you never miss a video. Comment on this video, share this video. But until next time, it has been your boy JD. Have a great day, stay safe, and I'm out. Peace.